Hey YouTubers, just thought I'd show you the installation process of a bearing buddy. Got an actual genuine bearing buddy. So, first thing you do is you just remove the dust cap. Yeah, I cheated already. I didn't want that to take forever, and it does. Uh, it's good to clean the surface around the inside of that hub a bit. So you take, obviously, the smaller end of the bearing buddy and just get it started in here. So, light taps. And you got a piece of wood, finish getting that in there. want to make sure it's seated right around and a lot of people when they install these they don't seem to understand them and I think I got a pretty good thought process on them here um, you just fill them up until the piston in there just starts to move don't fill it right up or you blow out your rear seal all you want is a little bit of pressure and if you can rock that thing when you start filling it with grease, oops, so I'm gonna start filling it with grease here. And there it goes. You see how I could rock that? That's some air purging. So, there we go. Oh, I didn't have the grease gun on, so I got that mess in there. So, if you can do this with that piston, you're all the way full. Now you just install your bra. The best way to put these on is to push here and push them on. It creates a suction and it'll keep the whole cap on. So, even with the installation of the bearing buddy, you still want to repack your trailer bearings because all this does is keeps a constant pressure on the hub to avoid water getting in because when you put a hot hub in cold water, it's gonna instantly want to pull in water straight into the hub. So if that has pressure on it, it'll avoid that. You just wanna keep an eye on that and make sure the piston has that movement every couple weeks I guess it depends really on how much you use your trailer but there you go that's how you install a bearing buddy thanks for watching